200 pounds. 200 feet. That'll break it. I just want it to break so badly. What's going on, everyone? I am Gab Nye, the science guy. Shout out Bill Nye. If you ever watched the, that show as a kid, leave it in the comments below. But what we have here today is a Braille, complete skateboard, and a science experiment for the ages. I'm going to go ahead and put this right here and we'll get right into what we're doing today. So over here on this beautiful butter bench, we have Glow wearing the Raiders jersey. We have Uzi on the ground. And we have, I have five different dumbbells of varying weights from 1357 to 10 pounds. And let me tell you why we have these dumbbells. We have these dumbbells because we wanna know how much weight from how high will it take to break a skateboard. So let me give you a little bit of science because I am actually a physicist. We dropped a 20 pound kettlebell from six feet and it broke a skateboard easily, like nothing. And I did some calculations and the speed in which it traveled from that six feet drop was 15.8 miles per hour. And the energy in which it exerted at impact was 215 joules of energy. So with that, we know that it takes at least 215 joules of energy to break a skateboard right down the middle. And we have these varying weights. We have six feet marked. We have 12 feet marked. And what we're gonna do today is see if any of these weights can conjure up enough energy to break a skateboard. And we're just gonna hop right into it. I want you to leave your predictions in the comments below. From six feet, from 12 feet, and from 18 feet, what weight will break the skateboard? I want to know. And we're also gonna ask Nigel. Hey Nigel, hey Nigel. Can I ask you a question? You can ask me a question, sure. Okay, we have five weights. Five One, weights. Three, five, seven, oh, and you ten already pounds. asked me this question. Yeah, not on camera though. Oh, you, uh, uh, um, yes. he never asked me this question. I never asked you this question. Yeah, so no. So we're dropping these, these weights onto a skateboard yep. from six, 12, and 18 feet. Okay. Do you think any of the drops will break a skateboard? Uh, 10 pounds at 18 feet. That's it? That's my That's prediction. That's the only one you think will break? May maybe, maybe seven pounds at 20 feet. I don't know. Okay, thank you. All right, that's, all, that's all I got. Thank you, thank you. Uzi, I know that you have a degree in metaphysical reality and science, so I'm here to ask you a question. 100 pounds, 100 feet. I mean, that would definitely break it. You're not wrong. 100 pounds, 100 feet. So, one, three, five, seven, ten pounds from 6, 12, and 18 feet. What do you think will actually break a skateboard? 18 pounds, 100 feet. You heard it here first. I think we're getting somewhere. If we dropped 100 pounds, that's at least breaking something. Glow, one, three, five, seven, and 10. We're dropping these from six, 12, and 18 feet. What is breaking a skateboard? 10 from the top rope. 10 from the top rope, and that's the only one you think will break it? I don't even, to be honest, with the wood we got here, it's not breaking nothing. Okay, we have one last person I need to ask, and he's right behind the camera, so I'm gonna actually bring him over here, and then he can look there. Derek. What weight is breaking the skateboard? Absolutely nothing. Nothing. I told None you of that them. already. Derek, I've never, enough. I've never asked you this question in my life. You've never told me anything. That's true. I think nothing here is gonna break this board. Keep in mind, we got a brand new deck. It's brand new. Zero use out of it. That's what we're gonna find out today. All right. Let's today's go. the day. Let's go. So uh, let's just hop right into it. One, three, five, seven, ten. From six feet, what will happen? Leave it in the comments below. Will any of these weights break a skateboard? To be honest, none of them are breaking. That's what I told them. Uzi, you don't think any of them will? <laughs> none of them are breaking. Not Nada. Absolutely nothing. It didn't even flex. Three pounds from six feet. Three, two, one, drop. We have absolutely nothing happening right now. Not even a little scratch. It's literally bouncing these weights further away almost than I'm dropping them. Let's go five and seven pounds. Orange is five pounds in three, two, one, drop. A little more action on it. A little more action, but like, what is action nowadays? Like we almost got nothing. It's not even damaging the grip tape. Yeah, not even a mark on it. I guess you know what I didn't do is give you my prediction because I cheated. I cheated and I did the actual scientific calculations. So I know exactly what's gonna break it. We'll see. I'm gonna tell you, but then whoever's editing this, bleep it out. This pounds from the highest weight should break it. And those are the only two that'll break it. 
if my calculations are correct. If you had a one pound dumbbell and got a dollar for every curl you did, how many, how much money do you think you could make? Me? thousand dollars? Yeah. Yeah, easily. Easily. All right. I'll do a thousand easily. We're going to seven pounds. Yellow is seven. In three, two, one, dropping. I expected more. I expected more power. Oh man. Still looks new. I mean, if we get to 18 feet and none of them break, like we have to do something that'll break the board. Like that's a real problem. Like we're a braille skateboarding. We break boards. You've done the math though. It's supposed I did to break. Math, but what if it doesn't? I'm, I'm scared. And also for everyone saying we're wasting a board, you're 100% right. Maybe if that one doesn't break, we just give away that one. Yeah, I mean, yeah, if it doesn't break, then you could, you could have it because it just shows how good the braille boards are, I guess. All right, why does 10 pounds feel lighter than the seven pounds? What's going on here? Practice my golf swing. 10 pounds, testing it out. We got it lined up, bringing it out, lined up with the board in three, two, one. Uzi. I'm starting to believe that none of these weights will break a skateboard. 100 pounds, 100 All right, feet. well, we gotta go up to the next level. We're going 12 feet. How are we even gonna get to 18 feet? It's kind of scary. Wow. And what you do to me, yeah. And what you do to me, yeah. 200 pounds, 200 feet. That'll break it. Okay, on to phase two. I'm a little worried about the aim here. Should we go closer to the wall? Yeah, maybe bring the board a little this way. We have this beautiful line right here marked at 12 feet high. So as you can see, here's the braille drop, which is nine feet. This is 12 feet. And we have one pound ready to go, beginning our experiment. I think we have it lined up here. Let's see what's gonna happen. I'm not expecting much. I fully missed. Run that back. <laughs> Thank you. Let's try this again. One pound from 12 feet is dropping. Nothing happened. Nothing happened, Nigel. We're going to three pounds. Three pounds from 12 feet. In three, two, one. Perfect contact, but nothing happened. I feel like there was slight bend on that one though. But that's scary. Like what if all we get is bend? Now you can see what it's looking like from up here. This should break a board. We're at five pounds. We're at 12 feet high, five pounds, dropping onto a skateboard in three, two, one, dropping. Every time it drops, I just want it to break so badly and break it does not. Seven pounds from 12 feet in three, two, one, dropping. Dropping. I'm honestly so upset. I have to go up to 18 feet. I don't want to. Everyone heads up. We got 10 pounds dropping. This could do it, Derek. This is, this could do it. Will the 10 pounder break it right now? Leave it in the comments below right here from 12 feet. Three, two, one, dropping. I told you. Is it broken? Yep. Let me see. What? Let me see. Hey. Yes. <laughs> Experiment done. But we're not done yet. We're going to keep going. 10 pound dumbbell from 12 feet gives enough energy to break a skateboard. It's the question you probably never asked in your life, but the question that us here at Braille Skateboarding answered for you. Nigel, it broke, baby. That's what I'm talking about. So what we're gonna do now is set up a reinforced skateboard deck with carbon fiber, and we're gonna go up to 18 feet and see what weight, if any, can break the carbon fiber reinforced skateboard. Let's go. 10 pounds from 12 feet. I was close. You were close. Well, look at that. There's one for the history books right here, fellas. Let's just see what happens to the nose if we drop it from 12 feet. That's a good board right there. Actually, nothing happened. All right, dude, how do we drop from 12, from 16 feet or 18 feet? You get that little ladder right there. Thanks, dude. <laughs> Ooh. 
<laughs> yeah, this gotta be, gotta be near that height, right? This is gonna be sketchy, brother. Okay, we're talking six and a half inches from the top of this to the 12 foot. So if you go 18 minus 6.5, no, we need 18 minus 12 minus 6.5 inches, right? So we need 65.5 inches from the top of this right here. And what I think I'm gonna do is bring it up to the wall right there, mark it on the wall, and then we can drop it from the corner and we'll have our number. This safe, leave it in the comments below. This is the last time you ever see anything from GC01. Beautiful. I'm dropping from 18 feet. I can't see the board though. Am I lined up? This is 18 feet, one pound dumbbell, onto the carbon fiber board. Three, two, one, dropping. That was absolutely perfect aim, dude. Yeah. Three pounder. Three pounder from 18 feet, dropping in three, two, one. <laughs> I can't see where I'm at, man. It's scary up here. All right, let's try this one last time. Three pound weight from 18 feet. Try number three in three, two, one, dropping. That was right over the truck, but I don't think that was going to break it. That was good. Tall, you're probably going to land on your head, so if you're falling, just try to pump flip. Okay. Yeah, good point, good point. Next up, five pounds, and we're dropping in three. Two, one. No? No. Nope. Is that okay contact? Yeah. <sighs> Seven pounds from 18 feet. And three, two, one, drop. That was good. Nothing though. We're down to one last weight. Bring on the big guns. This is 10 pounds from 18 feet onto the carbon fiber skateboard in three, two, one, drop it. <laughs> Try number two, 10 pounds from 18 feet in three, two, one, drop it. <laughs> drop it. <laughs> They bounce like crazy, but that right there, no damage, was proper contact, and we got a lot of bounce, and we have no give. What will it take to break this board? Let's go. Let's go check out the results, dude. Look at this. Perfect contact, right there from the ten pounder. Eighteen feet high, ten pound dumbbell. It took down the carbon fiber reinforced skateboard. Are you surprised? Are you shocked? I know I am because I thought there was no weight that was breaking that carbon fiber board. A huge thanks to each and every one of you for joining us for this scientific experiment. If you want more skate content like this, where we test some skateboard ability and some scientific things, leave it in the comments below with what you want us to experiment on, and we'll see you in the next video.